Hello, my name's Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be talking to you all about random brown crystals. They're not all brown, there's random brown crystals on my arm. So I'm basically teaching about crystals on my arm because you guys wanted a tour. I have a lot of crystals on me so I'm going to teach about them in depth. Some of them are yellow, some of them are orange, some of them are brown. It's about a mix. So that's something I do have to teach about in the future. I'd like to add more brown crystals to my arm. I'm still figuring out ways to add crystals onto my arm. I'll find a way. I'll definitely find a way. I will definitely find a way. There's no way I'm not going to be adding more crystals to my arm. Uh, okay, let's get straight into it. First crystal, because I'm going to start going in a very specific order. Now, the first crystal is bronzite. What does bronzite do? And yeah, I'm teaching about a bunch of random crystals. Yay. Bronzite is a crystal that... Oh, it's a... Is it a return to sender crystal? Uh... Why do I make that face? It's because it's not necessarily a return to sender crystal. It's a patience crystal. It returns to sender by its default of patience. It's slightly reflective, so it does have return to sender properties, but it's an amplifier. It amplifies your patience that basically backfires people's negative energy towards you at them when they send it towards you. So bronze is like, like a soccer ball. You kick it, it hits someone in the face. It's literally a soccer ball. I'll tell you a little story. I was being evil-eyed very heavily, very heavily, uh, during a per certain world event, because I didn't, I was basically drinking water without a mask on. So someone was evil eyeing me as I was drinking water because they wanted me to drink the water with the, with the mask on, and they were looking at me like this. And just like, it was the hardest evil eye. And I, at that time, I just didn't care. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm drinking my water. Like, I'll put it on when I'm done. And it was, they were very far away. They were like all the way at the far away and I was in the gym too so in essence my bronze I got really warm it got really hot and then I'll t I mean this story is a little gruesome but uh fine I'll tell the I'll tell the full story so it burst off and it broke the stone broke so their evil eye broke it but it was not necessarily breaking and yeah that was a heavy evil eye I remember I remember asking, I was just, I wasn't even upset. I was just like, wow, that's pretty impressive. Like, you telekinetically broke my bronze eye. Like, you literally looked at, you gave me an evil eye so hard that it sent it back and it just cracked a stone. Well, it basically cracked the edges of where it was because bronze eye is really hard. So I'm just like, what in the world? Like, I was just like, and I was in like awe. The, the bronze eye was really hot. And I just looked at the person and they were, they must have been going through something. They had, it looks like they shave their head and it looks like like shave their head not keep uh the other word but uh they look like they were going through something especially because i don't i don't see people looking like 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 they're gonna shoot laser beams out of their eyes but that person technically did so it broke off the whole thing broke and i'm like i was just impressed i was impressed and i was disturbed so i was like why is this person doing that so it sent it back and uh that person never came to the gym after that again when it happened, I saw like a blood vessel burst in their eye. So something did happen to the, that person. And after that, I was just like, okay, more tourmaline, more tourmaline. So it gave me patience to not care. You know how people get nasty with you and you just not care and it makes them even worse? That's the energy of bronzite. It also gives you more strength grounding control over the earth element. And what do I mean control over the earth element? Control over grounding, connecting connecting the plant, nature, etc. So. Next crystal, oh, phenakite. It's phenotite and hog, blah, 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 blah. I don't know the words for it because it just got it just got recently discovered and I had it made into a little tiny stone. So be like, show us a crystal. It, it's all brown. It's, it's just, it looks like one color. Okay. Okay, well, a little better. I'm not gonna be doing that the whole video. So that's for good for the higher dimensions, grounding yourself, hearing angels and being grounded at the same time. It's a very high vibration crystal. There's different versions of it, different variants, but I'm still studying it. I'm still learning about it. Online doesn't really say much. It basically connects you to angels while keeping you grounded. It has you as it has you in the clouds and on the ground at the same time. Very simple. Let's go to Ooh. Is that what I think it is? And yeah, some of these are I'm doing my best to keep in order. Boulder Opal. Boulder Opal is a crystal of beauty and spiritual gifts. So it opens gifts of spiritual beauty. 
So how are some of these people doing pageants or whatever? Uh, how are some of them winning? Some people, for example, uh, some people have natural beauty, some people have spiritual beauty because their natural beauty wasn't there. Uh, what's a good example? If you ever see when in the, in the shows or movies when these people master their abilities, the first thing they do is they start changing their appearance. That's Boulder Opal. Once you start mastering your spiritual gift set, you're like, hey, I can, I can improve my vibrational beauty. That's what Boulder Opal is. It also gives you grounding. It gives you the ability to connect the ley lines in the earth. So you can pull energies from the ocean with that on. So you can literally surround yourself with cleansing energy. So you can immerse yourself in your environment. Next one, brown opal. It's good for wealth and abundance. It's good for an abundance of abundance. <laughs> so brown crystals, if you know about brown crystals, they're good for a very specific kind of abundance. Sometimes I'll prescribe someone as smoky quartz versus, smoke, uh, versus citrine before they actually get a, I mean, sometimes people's first crystal for abundance is not citrine, it should be smoky quartz because it's more grounding and it has the energies of abundance of connecting to Mother Earth. We all start from the ground, so should our goals. If it starts in the clouds, it'll stay in the clouds. Now, some of their crystal, tiger eye. Not many people know about tiger eye. It's very grounding, but no one, no one knows what tiger eye does. Is it is Tigray the ultimate wealth and abundance crystal? No, no, not at all. It's not even. I'll make a video on Tigray alone, but Tigray is not that crystal. It's good for wealth and abundance in aspects of grounding you, because sometimes people can't have wealth and abundance because they're not stable. It's one of the most grounding stones ever. It opens your third eye. It shows you what you need to do, and it connects the root with the third eye, and it connects you with the tiger element too. So you'll feel uh, a lot more protected and. A lot more lucky. Oh yeah, Tiger Eye is very good for the third eye, grounding, wealth and abundance. Wealth and abundance and more so the, the, in the aspect of stability, so it's a different kind. So yeah, but no at the same time. So if you're just using, oh, Tiger Eye, my money crystal, then you're gonna expect something different from a gemstone that is trying to do something different. So it, it's a money crystal by being a stability crystal. You can't have financial abundance without being stable it just doesn't you'll be like one of those lottery winners who just spend everything so <laughs> next crystal and yeah I'm, I'm scrolling on my arm too so uh there's a lot of crystals here <laughs> let's talk about bullseye uh bullseye it's red tiger eye what's it do it gives you the strength and okay let's talk about we just talked about tiger eye so it's basically tiger eye with aspects more towards relating toward hitting, towards hitting your goals. So let's just say if you're not a stable person, it'll rush you like a bull towards the target. It's literally, it'll get you amped. What's another crystal? Oh, this one's cool. Swamp stone. You guys can see that. So I will show you that. Can you see it? Next to the garnet, the red garnet. That's swamp stone. It looks like Mihoi Minoy from Spongebob. If you guys know what I'm talking about, it looks like Doodle Bob. Let me try to show you guys better. It looks like Doodle Bob. Ugh, I'd like to show you more. There's faces in it. There's literally Doodle Bob faces in it. Here we go. Uh, so what is Swamp Stone? It's basically a petrified swamp. So if anyone, I don't, I don't know if I should make videos about this in the future because I don't like when people think crystals are just trendy but i like when people get help from crystals so uh it basically puts your enemies in the astral realm under a swamp or in the swamp whatever is better for their karma it literally takes an astral traveler and makes it so they can never use their astral form like that again it makes that person not able fully to go back to their body if they're trying to mess with you out of their body so i'm going to talk about garnet and this is a very good garnet and yes this is garnet it's gem garnet. Oh, thank you for the light for the car that just drove by me. It's purple or red. Garnet's not a perfect red. When people think of garnet, they think it's like a really bright red crystal. No. Garnet's good for... Garnet's one of the best underrated crystals ever. That crystal should be more popular. Garnet is good for wealth and abundance, and it's also known as the angel abundance crystal. So, garnet is very good for rekindling fire. It helps you redirect fire. If you have too much fire, it puts it out. If you have too little fire, it activates the fire. It increases desire. <laughs> and yes, this rhymes. So I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> yeah, I like rhyming. So 
garnet is very good for wealth and abundance. It's good for stability. It's good for, just think of garnet as the firestone. I call it sorcerer, the sorcerer's crystal because it'll bring love into your life, abundance, but it will really keep you really grounded. Most people are just going straight to citrine for money crystals. You probably should use garnet or, and I should teach more about garnet in the future. It's it's a very powerful crystal. It, it gives you aspects of wealth and abundance you didn't know was there. And it hits upon the root chakra. So let's just say if abundance energies are stuck in the lower part of your back, aka the root, then it brings it up. I'm pulling, I'm supposed to pull the crystal closer to my face. I just went like this with my phone, like, okay, guys. Okay, professional YouTube video. So I'm, I just did it again. <laughs> uh, Atacomite. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. The, oh, that's Atacomite. Atacomite doesn't look like anything. It looks like everything, but nothing at the same time. It basically looks like a brown crystal. Atacomite's the ultimate third eye opener. It's the world's strongest third eye opening crystal ever. And by the way, if you guys heard me talk about a crystal such as Swampstone, which Swampstone's good for connecting with the earth element too. It literally makes you feel more grounded. And you'll get to visit swamps in, astral, in the astral realms, in different worlds, which is pretty cool because you get to do things in the swamps. You get to hone your abilities. Atacomite opens your third eye when nothing else can. You know, it's very easy to shut someone's third eye. And I'm saying that so you guys know. So a lot of these black magic practitioners are shutting your third eyes. Like, because it's the first, it's the easiest thing. All you have to do is eat something with a lot of sugar and it starts shutting your third eye. The sugar literally is, uh, on a scientific level, it's cal it calcifies the pineal gland. So, yeah. Now, let's go to the next crystal. Because that's the ultimate third eye opening crystal. Yeah, look at the, uh, the rainbow lighting over there. Look at the cool hues as I switch my bracelet around so I can teach you guys more about the bracelets on my arm. I'm not going to hit every brown crystal on my arm. I'm just hitting a bunch. There's a whole bunch that I haven't even set on the arm yet. So I'm trying to move through, through these a little quicker. So after Garnet, Attic might... Oh! <laughs> uh, a little secret. I'm wearing a dinosaur. I'm wearing a dinosaur bone. I don't remember what it's called, but it's the world's largest dinosaur. It's the herb eater. That's not a crystal. What is it? It's a, it's a dinosaur bone. You, you literally gain its energies of strength when you wear it. And your ancestors... All, most of your ancestors have worn some form of uh, bone, charm, etc. It's a thing throughout human history. So you, one of your ancestors has worn something such as a bone or a talisman because it gets the energy of the strength from the totem animal. So I'm wearing a, a dinosaur. I, I don't know what it's called. If you know the name of the world's largest dinosaur that eats plants, what, whatever that one's called, it's that dinosaur. So there, there's dinosaur bone. And yeah, I'm looking through a bunch of these right now. I'm like, oh. I forgot about these. I forgot I had these on. Dinosaur bone. Uh, and yes, I'm scrolling through my... I'm Some of these I won't be able to name because I forget what they are. I'm like, wait, I'm wearing a brown crystal that I forgot what it was. I have it written down at home, but... Because you can't... I'd, actually, that's leopard skin jasper. And yeah, I have so many crystals on, sometimes I forget what I'm wearing. Leopard skin jasper literally gives you the, the energy of a leopard spiritually. You'll have stealth spiritual stealth in the astral realm you will be able to take the form of a leopard your footsteps will be more quiet when you wear this crystal you'll be found more attractive and exotic etc so I'm, let's get to the next crystal picture jasper one of the ultimate crystals at opening your clairvoyance it'll show you everything it'll show you the whole picture it's one of the most powerful clair clairvoyant opening crystals ever it's also one of the most underestimated ones too so clear i mean it's well, it's something you should pair with Atacomite. You'll see everything. You'll see everything. You'll see everything and more. And uh, let me talk about Picture Jasper more. The whole world is sleeping on it. It's one of the most powerful crystals ever. Ever. For opening clairvoyance. It literally gives you abilities to see uh, panoramic images in the spiritual realm. You can go into someone's home. Let's just say if you're trying to find out. What am I, what am I going to go into someone's home? You can literally watch someone do black magic on someone else or on you. That's how I know who does what. It's because when they light whatever they light, an incense to do black magic, you can go into their home and see 360 degrees in a panoramic angle because you're wearing picture jasper. One crystal I'm wearing is called Chastilite. It's the anti-curse stone, speaking of curses. So good tie in there, but you wear it, 
And this is good for people who are undergoing sacrifices. So people who are getting sacrificed on, it takes the name of the sacrifice animal and it swaps their name out for yours. So they just did a sacrifice on themselves. So I don't know if, I mean, sacrifices hold a very powerful energy. You can read Leviticus in the Bible to find out basically how the Levites sacrificed animals for God and what kind of animal. So every animal holds a different weight energetically. So, oh, cool, confirmation. Yay, so when people do sacrifices on you, same thing applies. Same thing applies. I like that little confirmation. Lightning in the background. There's no clouds there. Oh, cool. But I'm getting. I'm gonna get off of here because this video will go on for very long. I can't cover every brown crystal in my arm. I do have more stuff to put on the website. Check out floridastoman.com if you haven't already. If you like more videos like this, ask for more videos like this. If you like a particular crystal, then a particular crystal. So until then, I'll see you guys next time check out floridastoman.com. You can DM Florida Stoman on Instagram for your own custom necklace to be prescribed by the Florida Stoman. Ciao!